here. So we're going to take care of some business in this area. This area has high criminal activity. Ready yourself to show some police presence. Copy that. I have an injured right person on. requesting an ambulance. You gotta get right on top of these people. Just call for an ambulance. I didn't hear no response. Let me know what you saw. That person turned without using a turn signal. That's very dangerous, officer. Okay, great. I can do that. I'll go to the ambulance. Let me know what you saw. I'm sure I used my turn signal, officer.
it looks like I took care of all the photos I can be taken care of. So generally what I like to do is I like to um, Show me your license and car insurance, please. Okay, officer. There you go. You'll take a test to see if you're driving under the influence of drugs. Please cooperate peacefully while I take a sample to check if you're drunk. ID and, if available, proof of insurance, please. Here you go, officer. Everything's valid on him. A couple of tickets issued, not too bad. But it is him. He looks like he's... I just need to collect a sample to see if you're under the influence of any illegal substances. All right, I'm just collecting a sample to check if you had any alcohol while driving. Yep, that's what I thought. Because he was swaying back and forth quite a bit, as you can see. Look at him. So, we're going to go ahead and issue the assignment. This accurate is your report. accident report. This is an accurate report. That's Thank right. you. I'm an accurate taking officer. All right, and now uh, we're just going to go ahead and cover it. I have to arrest you for driving under the influence of alcohol. Please cooperate and move to the sidewalk. Please, no! I let him go to the sidewalk. I'll go ahead and grab him real quick again before he walks off and search him. So I, I need to do a search on you to see if you're carrying anything illegal. That's why I don't have to do it after I can do it. I can do it. Alright. I'll escort you to the police precinct now. Let's go ahead and put him in my damaged vehicle that I. All right, stay way. calm. I'm escorting you in the car now. All right, so let's take care of him. Let's go ahead and take care of him. So now that we have a complete report, we can give her a good complete All right, report. here's your accident report. A well-documented and exhaustive report. That's Thank right, you, because officer. Because I exhaust every aspect of my investigation on this traffic collision. Check her ID. We don't need to search her because uh, she has no expired anything. Doesn't have any convictions. Uh, so we better go. All right, you can go now. Drive safe. No. Yep. Uh, we might need to be towed. So call it a tow truck. I have a vehicle here for towing. Can you send a tow truck to my current location? The record will be there in a couple of minutes. Let's see if I can let this guy go in here now. He probably won't. Hopefully he Keep moving. Hopefully he'll move out of the way. Who knows? Yep, there he goes. Hopefully he gets out of there. Now the record could put him in uh, without uh, obstruction. And being that we arrested this guy, the vehicle's here, we have to search it. Uh, weapons. When I see up here in the corner, uh, five points, there's not really nothing much in there. In 
terms of a you know, deadly weapon or switchblade or some kind. But I see points 10, plus 10 like that, there's a handgun or a switchblade or something. That's one way to tell that there's, you have something there. See what I mean? Look at handgun. That's one way to tell if you, if you found something important is by the points that you get. Five points, nothing. You won't find much of anything in there. Nothing threatening. Nothing illegal. That's one quick way to know whether you know. five points, nothing. You might not come up with anything or just something minor. Yeah, see. City guides, uh, sat rugs. Five points, nothing. So this vehicle is clear. Everything comes to the handgun. Let's go ahead and call a record tow truck to get this vehicle out of here. I have a vehicle here for towing. Can you send a tow truck to my current location? The tow truck will arrive at your location shortly, officer. Okay, so there we go. We took care of both these vehicles and the accident or the traffic collision scene. We go ahead and get our vehicle and transport this uh, arrestee. You have the right to remain silent. Any statement you make may be used for or against you in a court of law. You have the right to a competent and independent counsel, preferably of your own choice. And if you cannot afford the services of a counsel, the government will provide you one. Do you understand these rights? I forgot. We got to transport them to Jefferson. What the heck? We have no Jefferson available. Bridgeton. There's no Jefferson anywhere around here. Where are we at anyway? Okay, we're down here. See, what, they're do what it does is it's adding a, s a town or a, s a location that I have opened already, but be being that I'm playing just the regular uh, map without the open patrol, it's calling out for me to take them to an area. Look at, see? <laughs> Look at this. It, it wants me to go into the no cross zone. I'm not going to do that. Alright, let's get out of here. Time to go to the cell. And by the way, as you can see, I have the CHP paint or the mod scheme going on. And I also updated the light scheme for red and uh, blue lights instead of the, just the all white or all blue that they had before. Uh, and that's what I'm doing. I'm using my CHP scheme uh, mod because I, uh, I'm a senior volunteer with the CHP. So why not? This is one of the biggest precincts. It has a really long hallway to get to the holding cells. It has a, a huge uh, office admin section. Stay here until further notice. You can put them into any cell. Doesn't necessarily have to be the first or the last or anything. Just put them anywhere. Some of these cells, when I put the, uh, the restees in there, uh, he starts to say something and then it cuts off, so there's a little uh, bug in that where it doesn't uh, completely finish his sentence. Okay. So as you can see, this, look at this big old lobby area. It's a huge lobby area compared to the other precincts. And then you got this hallway 
which maybe at some point they'll add something in that room, like an evidence room or something. And one of these pre look how large this admin office is. It almost looks like the size of the admin office that, um, that we have at our station. And then this door as well. Now these are exits more likely, but why not add another room there? Um, and this guy is just always sitting there, Mr. Fold Lakes. Um, there's my desk right there. But what I was going to say is in the, uh, one of the other precincts, uh, they have a weapons room where uh, I guess at some point you could be able to uh, check out weapons for weapons training or something like that. Go to the shooting range. Uh, I don't know. Alright, let's change uh, vehicles as, as I go in the get-go of this mission, I was going to say. Um, get cool with this. back is heavy and it slides a lot when I make turns. I reached my destination comedy. <laughs> I reached it a long time ago. And these littler cars, um, they don't slide in the back as much, so it's easy to make a turn. Even that big old SUV over there doesn't slide as much as the Crown Vic, but let's take the Crown Vic only because it is uh, one of the uh, common used vehicles still in the CHP and the Sheriff Department. I also volunteer with the Sheriff, uh, Los Angeles County Sheriff Department. Um, and I don't like taking the Crown Vicks when I go out on patrol. I like taking my uh, uh, Ford. That vehicle didn't use a turn signal. Okay. My Ford Taurus on patrol it has a lot of power, and it still uses a key to turn on the ignition, not a button like our uh, other vehicles do. Alright, so let's get out of here and see uh, what we can find, which ain't going to be hard to find a, a uh, violator. There you go. Look at that tinted windows. We're going to go ahead and go ahead and stop that car. Got a wrecker over there. What's that wrecker doing over there? Is that an accident? Okay, I don't see anything, but uh, where's that car with the tint to it? Oh, it's right here. Okay, so we're gonna get go ahead and pull that uh, white car with tinted windows over as soon as they get going. But that wrecker's in the way, so these cars aren't gonna move. So hopefully, like that. Yeah, turn red again. That vehicle didn't use a turn signal. Okay, well, here we go. Let's go ahead and get this car. seen some people in uh, YouTube videos park their patrol vehicle right in the front, blocking them off so they don't take off or something, but I haven't seen that yet, where they run away or flee in their vehicle. They flee on foot, mostly. At least for now. Okay, let's see what's going on with this girl in here. First of all, I uh, stopped her for not using I had to pull you signal. over because you failed to signal. I used my turn signal. Okay, well, I'm glad you think so. Office. Show me your ID and proof check of insurance, if available. Now, I, sometimes Here I you go, officer. A first, and then I check their ID, but this time I just check their ID first. Um, just want to see if it's clear on things, or if not, 
you know, I'll go ahead and cite her for that. Well, it looks like she has an open warrant, so no sense in checking anything else. We might as well just go ahead and, well, we're going to give her a ticket first because we want her to pay a fine later on. So let's go ahead and uh, give her back her IDs. Yeah, her eyes are red. Maybe she's under the influence as well, but we don't need to worry about that because we're going to go ahead and uh, ask Please her step out, out of your vehicle and, and go to the sidewalk. Uh, arrest her for having an open warrant. Sorry, lady, this is not your day. You're going to jail today. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, give her. I have to arrest you for having an open warrant. Please, no! Give her some uh, metal bracelets. And let's search her. Let's Could you help me out, please, officer? Oh my god, really? Help me out? You see I have to search somebody? you. Kindly cooperate with me. Can you go ask somebody else for directions? Excuse me, officer. Because I'm Can you a, help me, please? I'm an upstanding and outstanding officer. Oh, marijuana. Look at I told you. She had something going on. She has a, she has an owl. Excuse me, Google. officer. Could you help me out, please? Yes, let me go ahead and get my... Uh, I'll escort you to the patrol car. The patrol car and I'll come back and help you, sir, okay? Sir, just hold on hey, there, officer. okay? I'll Can be right back. Can you help me out, please? Yes, just hold on. Watch out for your head. Excuse me, officer. Oh my god, this guy's persistent. Yes. What do you want? Please, officer. I'm trying to find Sam's kitchen. Can you tell me where it is? Yes. Sure. Let me check the map for the nearby one. Okay. Now, you know I'm leaving my Rusty and my vehicle sitting there while I'm trying to give you these directions, but because I'm so helpful, I'm going to help you out here. These, these with the little fork and knife or whatever are usually the food places, so I don't see any Sam's Kitchen close to us, so I know it's way up here somewhere, so you're going to have to travel a bit if you want to get to it. There it is. See that? That's the only one I know of, so if you want to go there, fine. I'm very grateful, officer. Oh, good. Okay, he was very grateful. I appreciate that. Usually that far away, they'll say something like, well, it's a bit far from my uh, my liking, but thank you anyway. You know. All right, let's go ahead and get our patrol vehicle. And they want us to take them back to the historic downtown area, so let's make sure that uh, we got the historic downtown the precinct locked in. Wow, look at this route they want me to take. Let's go that way instead. That looks like a better route. You have the right to run inside. Please let me make maybe use for the insurance 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 signal. Try to have the right to accomplish authentic here. Counsel, preferably of your own choice. If you cannot afford the services, of the okay. The government will go. It's clear. You understand these rights. No cars coming. Turn off the signal. Take a right here. Uh, nope. Can't. Sounds like a dragster, a race car or something. That's not the way our patrol vehicles sound when I'm in there on, on a ride along. It sounds like it's freaking revving up a long Okay, well, we got a bit of time to wait, but try not to get close, too close to the other vehicles in case you need to get out of here. But, because I am not in, like, authentic mode or anything, I'm going to show you what I do. Oh, I, never mind. They're already going, so forget it. Let me turn my left turn signal on, because I need to go left here. It's clear. Wow, this is the most proper that I've ever been in the game, the simulator so far. 
I have not shut our signal. I have not driven this cautious since I started playing this simulator. Well, I should have left my signal on. Oh wow, what's going on up here? Why is there a traffic jam? That that wrecker is still out there. Okay, let's let's go ahead and back up. Turn our lights on and our siren. Get people to move out of my way because I gotta get to them. Time to go to the cell. Return, please return to the high something, high, high crime area. Well, this is the longest walk to get to a holding cell of a station that there is, that I encountered at least so far. Please return to the high crime. Wow, okay. See, oh, here it is. This one is the one that has it. Yeah. This is the station. See, so it has a weapons area there. So at some point, we're going to be able to check out weapons, maybe. Go to maybe an indoor shooting range. Maybe this door will lead to the shooting range right there. Okay, so let's go and put it on this side. See if there's nobody in there. Okay, nobody Stay here until further notice. Okay, so he finished his sentence on this one to demonstrate a police presence. Okay. Please return to the high crime area to show police presence. So that's what it is. All right. So I have I don't do this very often anymore because I get sick and tired of it by pressing the I for details of the arrest and all that the narrative. So as, as you can see, everything has been justified. All my um, procedures that I did: uh, arresting, body search, handcuffed, ID check. Detainment for failing to signal. I escorted and placed the rest in the police car and in custody. So, bonus 25 points for that. Outstanding. And I think I'm still holding on to my 100% of uh, points for credibility. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So, I, I set this for a half an hour uh, game gameplay. Simulation place. All right, well, let's get on top and see the see the view from here. I can't see too. There we go. Now that flag. What is that flag in the middle there? Oh, that must be the city flag. Your shift is oh, over, talking officer. Talking about the shift. Uh, how much time in my shift? Well, it's over now, so that's good. All right. Let's go ahead and shut our lights off. Go ahead and park our patrol car. Get it around. This, yeah, this vehicle totally skids everywhere. Look at that. Huh? Talk about perfection, boy. Parking that sucker like if I'm a robot. Alright, let's get in there and end our shift. Brighton, uh, Brighton Department Police. Okay, so here's the building. This is the whole. Uh, downtown, historic downtown police department building, which is huge. Go 
goes all the way. Look at that big parking lot. Look at this. Look at this. Not that building. Oh, that's a pizza and pasta. But look at that. All of this wing on this side, the middle, and that building on the left. That's all part of the precinct here in uh, historic downtown. That's a nice view right there. Turned in high crime area to demonstrate a police presence. Sorry, my ship's over. Get inside. Let's walk a little. Okay. Hey, want some coffee? Want a soda? All right, we'll get some coffee later on. See the uh, well, not see because uh, I I think I mentioned this on my last video. It, the clock is always at 12 o'clock. Now, if they ever activate it uh, to make it work, that'd be, that'd be something. These people are always talking, or like they have no work to do. And that's the first time I see citizens sitting in here. This guy's reading a book. Oh, well, they both have books, but this guy's reading it. I guess he's trying to pay attention to what they're saying over here. And then we got Mr. Crosslegs over here still sitting here. Hey, what's up, Mr. Crosslegs? What's up, buddy? Almost look like me. Well, you got a flatter nose. All right. Well, let's go ahead. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Can you cross? Put your hand over your heart, there, officer. Officer Lopez. No, nope, you don't want to. All right. This clock is twelve at twelve as well. So it's always twelve o'clock, straight up in right time, right time. All right. Ending our shift. Well, thanks for. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. This is a patrol officer, Danny Lopez, or in real life, Keith Silverstein. I hope you had fun watching it. Please uh, like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one, everybody. Thank you.